Hello, welcome to Outdoors with Brad. I'm Brad. So I've been passing by this old fence post for a couple weeks now. I've been dying to take pictures of it. So stay with me as I take a few pictures of it and we'll see what happens. So please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I'll see you next time on Outdoors with Brad. Thank you. I'll see you later. Well, here we are, driving down another road and looking for something to take pictures of. One of my favorite subjects are fence posts. If you want to get better in photography, find subjects you'd like to photograph and do a series of that subject. So pick out a couple subjects that you like and keep a lookout for them when you're out taking pictures. This fence post has lots of character to it and a nice background and some clouds. I wish I had more clouds so I might come back in the future and shoot it again. Here I am putting on my 210 lens to get a little closer to the fence post and see more of the detail in the wood. And I still have my red filter on my lens to get the blue sky to come out darker and the cloud to show up in the sky. With my dark cloth over my head, I am focusing on the front of the fence post and letting the background go a little bit out of focus. I am raising my camera so the top of the post is where I want it in the shot compared to the background and making sure it falls in the rule of thirds in the shot. With everything looking good in the camera, I break out my level and level my camera by putting the level on the film back on the camera. I also level the front lens board so it is level straight up and down just like the fence post. And then I focus one more time just to make sure that everything I want in focus is in focus. Now for the exposure. I am shooting with Delta 100 ISO black and white film. So a shutter speed of 100. I need to open up two stops for the red filter so a shutter speed of 30th of a second. The fence post is not quite in the bright sun and is in partial shade. So I give it an exposure of F8. Now I want a medium to short depth of field which is around F16 on this lens. So I move my f-stop from F8 to F16 and then I move my shutter from a shutter of 30th of a second to 8th of a second. So that way I have a medium short depth of field at f16 and a shutter speed of 8th of a second. With all of that taken care of, it's time to break out the film. And since you have made it this far in the video, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. And I will have more coming out. And at the end of this video, you will see this shot and more of my fence post photographs that I have taken in the past. And thank you for watching my videos. And please watch my other videos that I have done also.
some of my other subjects are waterfalls, clouds, trails, and mountains. So go out and find a subject that interests you and photograph 10 different shots of that subject for a photo series.